Today we're going to create a scratch project and I'm here on the scratch page and I'm scrolling up and down with my Makey Makey. But in order for me to code a scratch project, I'm going to have to create a new project. So here once I hit create, I'm going to have all kinds of options. Um, the first thing I want to do is create a backdrop and create, uh, pick my character. So I'm going to go here to backdrop and I'm going to choose surprise. So backdrops all the way over here to the right. So there's one surprise backdrop, two surprise backdrops, three. Ooh, I like these. And then I want one to be in a castle. So I'm going to come back and to the actual choices and I'm going to click this castle too. I love this. This is where I want to start. And also I love scratch cap, but I want to use a different character. I'm going to choose a sprite. So my sprites are my characters in scratch. I want to choose wizard girl because I'm going to make a magical project. Oh my goodness. What am I doing? I'm doing this too hard. I go to people. There's a knight and there is wizard girl. All right, so here's Wizard Girl and say goodbye, Scratch Cat. Now, Wizard Girl is pretty fun because she comes with her own sound, which is magic spell. And I can use that sound with my Makey Makey, but I can also record my own sound. So I'm gonna go ahead and record a sound by clicking record. And I'm gonna click the record button. Magic, magic. All right, that probably didn't come out very well. But let's check it. Anything in this red's going to get deleted. Magic, magic. 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 Uh, it's okay. So I'm going to make it faster. Magic, magic. Magic, magic. Magic, magic. magic, magic. Too fast. Magic, magic. magic. All right. And then that is going to be, um, I'm going to call it cast a spell. All right. So I go back to my code. And to make this sound work with Makey Makey, I can choose a hat and trigger an event with a win key press block. But I also have these really fun makey makey blocks, so I like to use these. I'm going to take this space key, and when I press space key, I want to hear the song, the sound of the sound. Oh, I don't have space key pressed, so I want to do down for now. Whoa. And that's right here, so when I press down. Okay, nothing else does anything. We'll they're working, obviously. My Makey Makey's lighting up. That is how I code a sound. Now, I want to make her move because I think that would be fun. So, I want to have her move 10 steps. I want her to point to the right. Let me check that. That goes to the right. And I want that to happen when I press the right arrow. So, when I press right arrow, she moves to the right. Nothing else works because I haven't coded it. Well, the sound works. So let's duplicate that and move her to the left. So I can point the direction to the left. Now, oh my goodness, she's upside down. All right, if I look over here in direction, I can actually change her so that she never turns around. So she goes right and left, right and left, but she doesn't turn around. I kind of want her to turn around. That would be this button. So when I have her point to the right, she goes to the right and left. And what I think would be really fun is if we could have her cast a magic spell with the special extension right here. So I'm going to have down, up, I don't know, up, down. And I'm going to take this sound off. So I want her to play a magic spell and I want her to also play my other sound. So I'm going to get the sound where she says magic, magic, and I want her to change the background, which will be in looks. So I'm gonna switch the, nope, not costume. Switch the backdrop to a random, I can use an operator and pick a random number between all the backdrops. I have six, so I can go one through six. So now she goes right, she goes left, and if I press up, down, <laughs> Oh, it's a little slow. So I think I'm gonna move this here. And I also think it'd be really fun if she had a different costume. So what I'm gonna do is take her and I'm gonna take this color, I want a yellowish color. Now I'm gonna draw, oop, draw. Where's my paintbrush? Draw little things right here. So those go off when I press 
this magic spell. I want to change to Wizard Girl Costume 2, which means that any other time I need to switch her back to her other costume. <laughs> now, let's try that. Right, left, up. Oh, Ooh, that looked really good. I think I want her costume to change after she says magic, magic, so it looks a little more magical. Right, left. Oh, perfect. And I actually think maybe this blinky should go away. So one of the keys to coding with Scratch or coding with anything is to kind of tinker around with the way things look. So let's move that to Wizard Girl 1. Up, down. <laughs> and then it should go back to, yes! Took a little long. Hmm, maybe we'll have it here. Let's try it again. Up, down. <laughs> oh, too close to the other one. We can't see it. Up, <laughs> I think that's okay. Now, one thing you can do is you don't have to code with these arrows. You can also do this a different way. You can do it a mathematical way. So if I wanted to, let's go ahead and take these off for here and here. Just gonna delete those. Bloop. And another motion, you might have seen it, was change X by 10. And change Y by 10. Hmm. And I noticed this if on edge bounce. So let's add that. And we want to do this when she goes left. We want her to change X by 10. Oh, that is the wrong way. Hmm, well, if I put that on the right, it's correct. Okay, that's good, and now she can't go backwards. So, I changed Y to do the left there, right? That would make sense. Ah! No! She's moving up! Oh, okay, so X moves left and right, and Y moves up and down. So how will I change X to get her to go to the left? Hmm. I think what I want to do is change X by negative 10. And also now she's way up high. I need to make her always start in the same place. Hey, did you notice something? When I move her around, these change. So I'm gonna put it right here. And I'm gonna drag this out for the very beginning of my game. And when I click on this, I want it to always start in her castle and start right there. So see, look, if I pull over here and I click the flag, she is back to the beginning. So now, right, left. Hey, it worked, negative 10 worked. <laughs> Perfect. That's a really quick way to make a game with Scratch and Makey Makey. Oh, I almost forgot. You can also code their movement here in the if blocks. So we can take an if block and a sensing block to sense a key press. This might be the actual right way to do this. Really, there's no right way or wrong way. There's just lots of ways to do things in Scratch. It's kind of what makes it fun. So I'm going to have, if the right key pressed, change X by 10. And I'm gonna put this one, whoa. Drag this guy back up here. You can see that it highlights when I'm putting something where I want it to be, and it'll click together. So now, right, left. Right, left. Oh, it's reading my left. Oh, ha ha ha. That's so funny. That's because this one is here. So the thing is, if you use an if block, you're going to have to use a forever loop because Scratch reads up to down. So while I'm doing this, it's gonna not check it if I don't have it checking forever. This one, whenever I press the left key, it checks to see if something's right and does it. So now let's see. Right arrow, left arrow. She moves faster. Gotta make it negative 10 or she won't move to the left. Left, right, left, right, up, down. <laughs> Bing! And now she's in space. All right, so that's a quick project to show you what to do. And you notice the pencil that's coming off on my finger, so I'll probably have to redraw my lines here pretty quick. But I can't wait to see what you make. Show me your scratch project that you use with Makey Makey.